Hey folks, I'm Travis Vigil with Dell Technologies and you've joined me for yet another episode of Talking Tech with Travis where we'll stop at nothing. For those of you that know me, you know that I love to run and you also know that I like to start off these episodes by finding parallels in my work at Dell with my passion for running. Now, this is no ordinary Talking Tech episode, therefore my usual running analogy just isn't going to cut it today. We've recently had a series of special announcements at our Dell Technologies World Conference, announcements that I think compare nicely to a triathlon. Now to compete in a triathlon and hopefully win a triathlon, you have to excel in all three very different and challenging events. And managing IT operations can be like running a challenging race where success depends not only on you, but on your teammates. That's why we're aggressively delivering software innovation across our storage and data protection portfolio so you can be prepared for what comes next. Now here to cover our storage triathlon is not just one wonderful guest, but three. Today I'm joined by my top storage athletes, Shannon Champion, VP of Product Marketing, David Noy, VP of Product Management, and Drew Schulke, VP of Product Management. Shannon, uh, you have uh, the honor of kicking off our storage and data protection uh, triathlon. I am going to start by handing you this awesome blue baton. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here it comes. All right, so Shannon, tell us about our focus on software-driven innovation. That was a huge uh, theme at Dell Tech World, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. It was, and I'd be happy to. Thanks for um, inviting me to join today. Uh, we, we all know there's innovative power in data, but acting on it is the challenge. And that's because organizations are faced with headwinds like operational silos, cybersecurity threats, developer productivity hits, and cloud complexity. But the key to turning those headwinds into tailwinds is in our software innovation. And you, of all people, know how much it e easier it is to run faster and farther with the wind at your back. And our software-driven innovation has always been focused on what our customers need, and that's why we're invested there. More than 85% of our engineers in ISG are software engineers, as you know. That's because we believe what customers are really asking for is a continuously modern storage experience, and the only way to truly deliver that is to be software-driven by design. So that's what we're doing. We're delivering a lot of software innovation with over 500 new high-value software features across major updates for PowerStore, PowerMax, and PowerFlex. And I love that you're hitting on the, the software innovation that we're bringing to market. And all of those engineers are, are, are focused on bringing new features and capabilities. And one of the things that we highlighted at Dell Tech World and I continuously hear from our customers is uh, you know, what we now call automation, AI ops. So talk to me a little bit more about the, important of that, uh, the importance of that topic with our customers. Yeah, of course. Um, so Dell Tech World, you mentioned, very successful, finally in person. That was really exciting and virtually at the same time. And you and I had the opportunity to talk to lots of our customers, which was really the highlight of the event. And there was a lot of discussion around AI ops, right? There wasn't a single customer I talked to that wasn't looking to boost productivity, reduce risk, and just in general, be ready for what comes next because we've all learned you just never know. Uh, and that's really what's driving that bigger need overall for automation and simplified IT ops. And that's where AI ops comes in. So across our power storage and HCI portfolios, we continue to really be focused on pushing intelligence and automation to whole new levels. And when we talk about our highly adaptable software architectures, that's exactly what they do. Now we had some uh, very specific announcements at the show, right? We, uh, we were together, you were on stage, I was in, in virtual reality, then joined you on stage, that was fun. Uh, but tell me, tell me a little bit about the specifics of what we announced and why it's important. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so across our uh, power storage portfolio, PowerStore, PowerMax, PowerFlex, they all have major software-driven updates. And so some examples of what 
are those uh, adaptable software architectures that are new for PowerStore. Our latest releases are most significant. PowerStore OS 3.0 is delivering over 120 new high value software features. And for existing customers, that means zero disruption or additional cost to take advantage of those capabilities. A couple examples here, native replication for any workload, including file and vvols now in addition to block and in particular, new native MetroSync replication. Simple, easy, high availability shared storage across sites now without any additional equipment in as few as five clicks. So That, that was a big one. Customers were excited about that one. Huge, it was huge, yes. And PowerMax too, a whole new next generation architecture there. So giving customers more ways to automate complex storage operations in that high-end mission critical storage space. And with new intelligent multi-node scale-out design, higher data reduction guarantees with four to one for open systems and doubling the performance, so. That, that platform re refresh, I know because <laughs> we've been working on it for a long time, it's been years in the making and the, the innovation uh, uh, that you talked about is, is critical, but David Noy is gonna uh, talk about some of the security capabilities that we've built in there as well. Indeed, yes. And we both know automation and intelligence play a huge role in helping our customers innovate securely. So I'm sure that'll be part of it. Absolutely. What about PowerFlex? Yeah, so PowerFlex, our unbounded software-defined infrastructure, as we like to call it, its uh, value proposition always has really been based in its software capabilities. And now we're extending those unique capabilities to uh, enable file for transactional NAS workloads. We're providing support for standard space NVMe over TCP and providing even more holistic operations for storage compute and lifecycle management. That's awesome. Thank you for covering all of that with, uh, with us, Shannon. Uh, but the time has come. The first leg of the race is run. Thank you so much for joining uh, us, but please hand that blue baton over to David Noy. Of course, it's been my pleasure. All right. So we're hearing a lot about ransomware uh, in almost every single customer conversation I'm in. It comes up as a topic of importance, as a topic of concern. What are you hearing? Oh, I hear it all the time, Travis. Um, ransomware is on the top of mind for everyone from, you know, the IT administrator to the CIO to the CSO, even to the CEO because of the penalties that it can incur for organizations. In regulated industries, it's almost an inescapable topic. Um, and it's not just affecting us, like everyone in the industry is actually innovating as fast as they can around uh, ransomware and ransomware protection and cybersecurity. And it's driving a ton of innovation here at Dell. Yeah, and we were just at Dell Tech World not too long ago, and we highlighted a ton of our new releases, a ton of our new offerings, um, there was a thread of ransomware protection that went through that entire event. Tell me about some of the most important innovation that we're delivering to the market. I think the big one is, you know, we just talked about Cloud IQ for AI ops and the intelligence that's being built into Cloud IQ. So let me talk about PowerMax for a minute. Um, you know, the latest version of PowerMax improves the security dramatically it, through a number of different ways. It includes things like looking for signatures to see whether or not hardware or software or firmware has been compromised. It includes multi-factor authentication, which is a new way to make sure that you're really you, right? But more importantly, um, inside Cloud IQ now, we have a way of in near real time detecting whether or not certain metrics, in this case, for example, how well data uh, compresses is that changing? Is it changing too fast? And so then we can flag immediately, hey, something's going on on your, on your PowerMax. And so you need to look at it and address it and make sure that you know, you're not being attacked. So having that near real-time information built into Cloud IQ is yet another AI ops operation is super powerful. I think that's one of the biggest things that you know, we've announced. Yeah, and I love that we're focusing on that near real time, that early warning of something going awry. But I know a big part of what you think about day in and day out is data protection. And for many people and in the industry as a whole, that is the most critical and the last line of defense against cyber attacks and ransomware attacks. Uh, what are we doing in data protection? 
So glad you asked. Um, you know, it's cyber recovery and cybersecurity is huge in the data protection world. And there, you know, we've been at it for some time, but we continue to focus on the three eyes of cybersecurity. Those are isolation, intelligence, and immutability. Uh, when it comes to isolation, last quarter, we uh, shipped cyber recovery on AWS, native, uh, or sorry, native, but available as a native service through the AWS marketplace so that you could build a cyber vault that is isolated in cloud. This means that if someone's gotten into your on-prem environment, it would be really hard for them to get to the cyber recovery vault. Uh, we are announcing that we are going to actually introduce this functionality on Azure as well. So it'll be available through the Azure marketplace. So that's isolation. Now let's talk about intelligence. In addition to cyber recover being available on AWS for building a vault, we've taken our CyberSense product and we'll be introducing CyberSense, which is our artificial intelligence way of scanning through data and determining whether or not something bad is happening by looking at previous backups relative to the latest one with an extremely high degree of accuracy. So north of 99% accuracy of detecting that actually something has happened so that you can quickly figure out what's been impacted and then recover that as fast as possible. And as far as um, immutability, later on this year, we will be adding capabilities to actually use not just the native immutability. So we have native immutability built into our PowerProtect DD product, but we'll actually be able to also use the underlying immutability of the cloud vendors as well by using object lock. And so that's another uh, enhancement that's coming around uh, the data protection cyber products. Now, we've also made it simpler, Travis. So through the Apex Cyber Recovery Solution, we figured out a way to bundle this and actually make it easier for customers to deploy these bundled services on their own. We've now done over a thousand of these Apex Cyber Recovery Solutions. So we're really getting good at it. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I love the three eyes. I love the fact that we're focusing both on-prem and in the cloud and as a service. Really awesome stuff. Thank you. David, it was so great to have you, but the time has come to pass the baton on to our final guest, Drew Schulke. So pass that blue baton. Drew, tell us a little bit about what it is you do for uh, Dell Technologies. Yeah, happy to. So uh, my team is responsible for product management for our primary storage portfolio here at Dell Technologies. So that covers all of our purpose-built storage arrays, as well as our software-defined storage and hyper-converged infrastructure. So Drew, we were just talking about uh, AWS and Microsoft Azure. Uh, David had a lot to share with us about what we're doing uh, with, relations to, with relationship to those two public cloud providers. Um, how do you think about public clouds when so much of our current business is deployed on premises or in a co-location facility? Can you tell me a little bit about our multi-cloud strategy when it comes to what you do? Sure. Well, we know multi-cloud is here to stay. And so the, the third leg of our triathlon here today is our software-driven innovation and its multi-cloud ecosystem flexibility. What we mean by that is our storage software is multi-cloud by design, not default. And you gain more control over your data wherever it lives from on-premise and co-location to any cloud with our cloud-enabled storage and data protection software. So put simply, think any data, any cloud. And one of my favorite moments at Dell Tech World was the tech preview of Project Alpine, where we demonstrated running our industry-leading block, file, and object storage as software in the major public clouds like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. We've been doing this for years with our data protection software and now have over 10 exabytes protected in the cloud, and that's growing every day. Though the, the wow factor of Project Alpine comes from the enterprise scale for both performance and capacity, because Dell Technologies' rich storage and data protection services, such as our scale-out file system and advanced data reduction capabilities, are available for apps running in the public cloud. The other thing we demonstrated for our customers were the benefits of using our storage software in both hybrid and native cloud use cases. So things like cloud bursting, test and development, 
data and container mobility, as well as cloud-based data analytics at scale. So for almost 15 years now, we have developed ways to help customers take the data that was created on-premise in our storage software and get more value from it in the cloud. And our customers have seen great cost savings when they use cloud for things like archive and long-term data retention, for example, where you can see up to an 80% cost reduction on a per gigabyte basis. Wow, 80% cost reduction, that, that is extremely uh, impressive. And uh, I also enjoyed Project Alpine at Dell Tech World. You know, the fact that we're taking these industry leading assets that we've developed over multiple years, and in, in some cases over multiple decades, and refactored them such that they could be run in the public cloud is just uh, an amazing innovation when it comes to, you know, not only all of the things you talked about, but also the, the operational consistency that it can help provide our customers. Um, but more broadly, uh, you said multi-cloud is here to stay. And a big part of multi-cloud in my, my mind is, is the hybrid nature of it. And on-premises, I believe will remain a key decision criteria and value driver for customers. And so when you reflect on Dell Tech World and what we've announced, what part of the announcement do you think is going to be most useful for folks that are looking at that true hybrid use case type scenario? Yeah, absolutely. It's put, put, put uh, bluntly, it's all about multi-cloud ecosystem flexibility, right? And I can think of a few examples from our Dell Tech World announcements related to cloud tiering, archive and mobility, as well as DevOps enablement that are absolutely gonna resonate with those on-premise customers today. So to begin, let's look at PowerMax, where you get more options for seamless secure data movement to AWS, Azure and ECS, and twice the throughput performance, built-in redundancy and high availability. So customers can quickly move data to public clouds with faster cloud snapshot shipping and recovery, built-in high availability to avoid downtime and easy restore of cloud-based object storage data. For customers more interested in cloud native workloads and DevOps orchestration, PowerFlex has the broadest support for hyperscaler and container orchestration platforms for file and block across both bare metal and hypervisor use cases. So no other vendor offers a solution that unifies compute and storage, file and block on bare metal and or hypervisors simultaneously on the, platform, on the same platform. And customers can choose which you know, hyperscale cloud they want to use or which container orchestration platform to run in any combination of PowerFX deployment. So Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Red Hat, Suze, and VMware are all options that you can pull, pull together to build that right combination for you with PowerFlex. Wow, I mean, that, that's just really impressive. And, you know, I think about what you've just talked about, I think about what David talked about, what Shannon talked about, and, you know, I'd just like to pause for a second and reflect on the amount of innovation we're delivering all at once. All of this across all of our power storage portfolio offers, all at the same time. It's such a huge amount of innovation, especially when it comes to storage. But most importantly, it remains all about what we're doing for customers. So I can't wait to see our customers take advantages, advantage of these software-driven capabilities to drive their businesses to new heights. So thank you, Drew. And thanks everybody again for joining us for this mega episode of Talking Tech with Travis. And remember, at Dell Technologies, we'll stop at nothing. Mm -hmm.